What is up you guys? Today I'm going to do the review on this uh, King James, uh, New King James, Large Print Thin Line Reference by Thomas Nelson. This is the Bible that everybody has been waiting for. It's the one that everybody has asked me questions about. Um, and this Bible has been out for a little while, but I'm just now getting to uh, be able to review it. So here is like this uh, paper that comes in here. It's like your guarantee. It's the same thing that like Schuyler and Cambridge and Allen and all them other Bibles do. It's it's their premier collection guarantee. Um, it's really cool that they've done this. I like it. Um, so here's the box and it's a nice box. Like I, I really praise their box. Their box is super thick. It's sturdy. It's black, sleek. I love it. Um, so I'm going to get this here so you can pause and, and kind of read that if you want to. And here, so you'll see it's got 36 GSM paper, three satin ribbon markers, um, generous yap, premium goat skin leather, a Smith's own edge line. Absolutely stunning. Now that says black premium leather goat skin. There's the ISBN if you would like to search that to, to uh, get your best price. And the retails for 150. It says printed in China. Now, I'm going to defend. I've had somebody ask me, or well, isn't the Bible printed in China? Yes, it is. But you see that right there? It says premium European Bible paper. 36 GSM. Um, used to, most of the time when something, when Bibles are printed in China, a lot of times they'll have a cheap China paper. Yeah, I, I'll hold you a cup, baby. Um, a lot of times they'll have a, a cheap China paper, but this one has a nice European paper. So it's uh, basically the, the ink was just put on the paper in China. So it's totally different than what you might be used to. So here's the Bible that comes wrapped in this. It's like that because I've already been into it. I could not wait. Um, so you open it up. It's a really nice thick cardstock. Um, so you open it and you pull this thing out. Kelly, you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. She just got up and she's playing on her tablet. She's going to do a Bible review with Daddy. All right. So anyway, this is the... Uh, the thin line, this is the thin line, let me pull it back up here. So it's the thin line reference, New King James, large print reference Bible. All right, so this is it. Look how thin it is. Nice and thin. Um, there's your spine. It don't have raised hubs. It's got these fold uh, hubs. It's, and it says Thomas Nelson, New King James. Um, the... You can see the yap is very generous. Really nice yap. Uh, pretty much semi-yap. Um, you can see where it's got the little fold back here from the nice leather. I kind of like how they didn't put spines on, uh, raised hubs on it. For some reason, I actually really like it. The way it feels, the way it, I don't know. They done a good job with this thing, man. Um, you can see how the leather folds back here. This, uh, this leather's really nice. Perimeter stitching. You can see how soft it is just by touching it. Um, but one thing I like about this is although it's soft, it's kind of thick too. So it's thick and soft, which is different. It's very different than most um, that you would get like this. So anyways, um, that's, that's the cover. It's really, really, really plush and soft. Let me get it like this and just kind of see, see it. You can see the grain kind of roll through the light there. Um, just, man, absolutely, absolutely stunning. So you open it up and you can see the edge lining. You can see the uh, goat skin leather cover here and the uh, this, this fold around the, the edge here, that fancy look, it's really nice. Um, you can see how the cover just flops open. Uh, you know, it'll fold up. You can probably roll it behind. <laughs> like this, I mean, it's just, it's amazing, right out of the box. Um, that, man, that gilding is just absolutely stunning. It's, it's sparkling like, I don't know that I've ever seen gilding sparkle like this. Uh, you can probably tell it is 
Wow. <laughs> it looks like a gold block. That's that's incredible. I just I just really noticed how much that gilding is just wow. Look at how shiny it is. That's that's insane. Um anyway, get off on a tangent of how nice the gilding is. Alright, so you open it up, you've got the presentation page, and I like it because it's it's a basic presentation page. They didn't try to be too fancy. Um, Holy Bible. Um, there's your, you know, another Holy Bible. That's got your the, the logo and the uh, Thomas Nelson. Then you open it up right here. Um, there's your there's your uh, copyrights and print and stuff. And there is your table of contents. Your preface. And then Old Testament. So it goes right into the Old Testament. Now look at how nice that art gilding is. One thing I do kind of like about their art gilding is it's not over the top red. It's just a very, um, it's very smooth. It's a very smooth uh, salmony, pink salmony color. And it's not too flashy red. All right, so we open it up. There's Genesis. It lays flat. Like a lot of Bibles say lay flat. They don't lay flat like this. And this is edge line. So you're going to have this little stand up right here where it's tapped into the block for a little while. But you use this just a little bit and it, it's, it's, it's just, it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to lay right down. Like it's almost wanting to now. So anyway, um, here it is. Genesis, uh, the layout is absolutely incredible. Um, if you'll take notice, they put the references and in, in their textual footnotes down here at the bottom instead of in the center. And I like that. I love my text just to be my text. Um, this is actually something like that Skylar does or whatever. Um, in fact, I will go ahead and say, for those of you that know, this is very similar to the Skylar Quintel. The layout, the red and black, everything is very similar to the Skylar Quintel. But I'm going to be honest. This Bible wins over the Scholar Quintel, in my opinion, all day long. And here's the reason. Scholar made a thin line Quintel, um, and they, they haven't made one yet in the New King James. This is basically a thin line Quintel. Um, that's one reason. For another reason I like this better than Scholar's Bible or the, the Scholar Quintel, um, is because of the price. You can actually purchase this Bible for a hundred dollars or less. Okay. That's really cheap for a premium Bible. Like you cannot buy premium Bibles at that price. Um, even scholars, uh, calfskin Bible is like $120. So anyway, this is best bang for your buck for a premium Bible right now. If you like the new King James is this Bible just there's no there's no comparison on the market so um here's your ribbons i'm going to pull these ribbons out and show you a couple things i like about these ribbons um i think the only one complaint people have about the ribbons which i i don't care i'm not even truly a big ribbon fan um i, I never really have been um it don't matter to me i'd have been okay if they put one ribbon um, a lot of people complain because it, the ribbons are only satin. You see that on one side? I really don't care. <laughs> uh, who's going to notice that your ribbon's satin on one side? Uh, but anyway, for me, I, that doesn't bother me. I like how the ribbons are straight cut here. They're straight cut ribbons. I like that. And also, I love how the ribbons are longer. My God, look at that. So when you bring your ribbons to the edge of your paper, it's actually, I mean, that you've got you've got two and a half inches there. I mean, that is absolutely awesome. Great job, Nelson, by making these ribbons longer. I, I just love it. They got to be long. I love my, I don't like whenever I pull my ribbon for my fingers to be like right at the edge of my paper. So um, just, just great work by Thomas Nelson on this. Um, this is a, uh, 11 and a half point font, I do believe it said. Um, let's see, 
it's 11 it's 11 point font is what the what the box says 11 point font um let me go over to the new testament so you can see that it is a black letter text it's not red letter which i actually kind of like this a lot of bibles are moving to this um and i like it because the way they do their section headings in red it just makes the whole bible pop more it's the, it's weird the words stand out to you so much better but I want you guys to see this. There's like absolutely zero ghosting in this Bible. I mean, the only places that you can see where there's text is where there's text on the back side and then there's no text and you can tell that there's some text on the back side. But the line matching is so good in this Bible that when you get to where the text is, you cannot tell there's text on the back side of that page. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy because even the words are nice and bold. Um, I had somebody ask the question about the, like going, like if you, if you look off of, of the page or look off of it and you go back to it, um, about seeing the verse numbers. Now the verse numbers are small and they're not bold. So if that's something that bothers you, you know, you could say maybe that's the only downfall of this Bible. That doesn't bother me at all. Um, most of the time, I, if I look off, I try to keep my, like if I'm going off, I, I'll keep my finger here or, or whatever. But uh, I will tell you this, that they that they are getting ready to make a verse-by-verse -verse preacher's Bible. Um, the uh, Thomas Nelson is. So that's going to be sweet as well. But this Bible is just stunning. Look how flat it lays. Um, it is a Schuyler Quintail killer <laughs> in my opinion i mean that's that's my personal opinion this paper is amazing like it's crazy like thomas nelson is hitting a home run with this bible like they need to keep this this layout this bible they do not need to discontinue this i mean i would even like to see them make this in like a non-premium cover you know so people can buy them to just uses beater bibles and stuff I, I i just this thing is insane man um I'm, I'm in love with it it's great work by them i'm gonna flip back here to the back and see how you can see it's laying completely flat in revelation um i mean completely flat so man i i cannot express how excited i am about thomas nelson and their work there's your concordance it's got the, the King James Concordance in the back. It's nice. It's small font, but they've done that to fit everything in and to make it a thin line. Uh, and I think that's another one of the possible flaws of the uh, thin line quintail from what I understand is it doesn't have a concordance. Um, so anyway, this one has concordance and maps. It's just got a couple of maps, nothing, no huge big deal. I, I don't care about maps either. I don't ever use maps. Um, that's probably why I don't know my way around Israel, <laughs> but I've never been there. So there is the note regarding the text type, which is another home run by this company. Um, but here it is, you guys, there's the ISBN on the back side, and probably their code for the black, uh, thin line, large print, new King James, holy moly. This thing is amazing. Get it. This thing's so awesome. If you like the New King James Bible and you want a premium, you will not find one better than this for the price. So anyways, hey guys, look, I hope this helps. If you have any questions about this Bible, let me know in the comments or message me on Facebook or whatever. Um, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability because this is a Bible that I will not be getting rid of. Um, this is definitely a collector's edition um, and it's a Bible that would definitely last me my lifetime and my family, my daughters um, as well. So um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can like, subscribe, share, um, hit me up. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm touchable. <laughs> um, I'm approachable. And uh, I love you guys for real. Thanks. Have a blessed day.